So what does that sacred relic you're searching for look like? I mean, there's lots of stuff in here that's old and relic-y. Indeed. Unfortunately, I have no idea what it actually looks like. Presumably it's an orb of some kind, so it, some of it is probably round. So how are we supposed to find it? That, I do not know either. I'll just have to go through each candidate one by one. Let's get every single book off the shelf, rifle through the pages, lick it, taste it, place it back gingerly. It'll be done in a, just in a few weeks. Great plan of attack there, Dirk. Well, Emma, do you mind if we give this room a once over? I guess not. But in exchange, you're gonna help me with my investigation. We're gonna do forensics! Sure. Can't hurt. And also, it's fun. So, yeah. Ooh, I can't wait to get started. It'd be like hunting for buried treasure. Okay. All right. Time to examine. And first things first, always go for the dead body. Because important things happen there. So, this is where Dr. Buff died. Poor, poor man, he fell right on his head and probably died almost instantly. I mean, if you're gonna go, instantly is the way to do it. I see some blood on the book there, but what's that dark stain? That one's not blood. Did, did the book hit his head and his butt? Because I've heard about that. After you die, we won't go into that. It appears to be coffee. Oh, thank- oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. It's still damp, so it must have gotten in there recently. Perhaps even last night. That's a mighty big window he's next to. Big enough for someone to see inside. What a- it must have so much natural lighting. Exactly. That's how the local resident who reported his death found him to begin with. Hmm. Hmm. Or so they claim. Doctor's body was visible from outside the window. And a passerby called him earlier this morning to report what they'd found. So you mean, this case is still only a few hours old? That explains why your investigation is just getting underway. And unless you're just very slow. Study photo added to the court record. What was I thinking? I was thinking about poop. I was thinking about butt poop. If you must know. Study diagram added to the court record. Alright. Um, let's look at the cool now. <laughs> He's not dead. Oh. So, Godot. Got it. They're animal drawings on the floor. They look like those famous geoglyph things. They remind me of the chalk outlines. Detectives draw around bodies. If someone had a crazy weird bird body. And the doctor just, has just joined them. Now that's what I call dedication to one's field. I don't think it was on purpose. Um, let's just go over this side and then work- Oh, can we actually flip around? We can. So there's a lot of stuff to see here, potentially. There's some sort of machinery inside this clay figure. It's some kind of clockwork man. Whoa! It's moving! Ex exterminate! Exterminate! Destroy all targets! Wow, we're getting even closer to the Dalek re references in this game. Exterminate! <laughs> That's my scraping impression. Do, do I even want to know what this thing is for? Panko! <laughs> Panko! Murder you all! Ha! Huh, well, that was amusing. What a huge window. I bet you can see the entire study from the outside. How could he concentrate in here? I'd feel so exposed. I, I can only read when I'm completely naked. 
completely. Otherwise, how can I concentrate? All these fabrics. Well, why do you keep telling me these things? He does have a bookshelf positioned for some privacy around his desk. Um, was there anything else over here? Yes. There's a brown stain on this scroll. Uh, hopefully it's also coffee. Huh? Why does it smell like... gravy? Why would there be a gravy stain on it? Who knows? But it looks like it's meant to be there. Maybe the artist was trying to inspire a gravy new trend. Food splatter art! That pun wounded me gravily, Dirk. Okay. He Praise Helix? No? Window? Alright, this is cool. There's like a... Is this a bird? It looks more like a plane. So it must be Superman. It looks like an airplane to me. No, there couldn't have been any planes back when this was made. Yes, but it has wings and both horizontal and vertical stabilizers. That makes it an airplane. No, it's definitely a bird. Open your eyes, son. As a lawyer, your job is to see the true nature of things. I still say it's a bird. The secret, the secret Godot. You know, if you take out, if you spell it backwards, Godot is two dog. Maybe Godot was a dog all along. The doctor fell from the top of that ladder. Hmm. From that height, a fall into a hard surface would probably kill anyone. I don't know why anyone would want to climb that high in the first place. Guess you could say he climbed it all the way to heaven. It's not funny, Chusey. A man died. I can't discourage you, so I might as well encourage you. <laughs> this PC is password protected. Like most PCs should be. But... Juicy, you think your magic can do something about this? Can you do some magic to things? Hmm, I don't think it can override a password, but I can guess things for a while. I will probably get bored rather quickly, though. Now, a locked desk, that I can get into. Like yours back at the office, Polly. The one where you keep your journal, where you talk about all the girls that you have crushes on and want to give kisses. Let me say, I wish I hadn't read it. Yikes. I'd better watch what I put in there. What? Do you put weird stuff on your desk? Stuff you don't want anyone to see? Jeez, are you a mind reader too? No, but unlocking your thoughts is a cinch. I just grab onto your antenna and the thoughts just flow right into me. Let's look at this cool doctor's lab coat. That is green and yellow for reasons. It's a two-tone raincoat. It's still a bit damp. I think someone might have worn it recently. Okay, that's all we get. <clears throat> there are a few pairs of shoes here. I guess there must be an entrance on this floor, too. Yeah, there's a back door over that way, but it's usually locked from what I can tell. The visitor's entrance is up that spiral staircase. That's the way we came in. Yeah, I'll check it out. I just want to get everything here, and then we'll go to the next thing. And I think we've got it now. So, yes. Let's look over here. Oh, it's not a rotate. We're just going over here. Does, is that the Rosetta Stone? And we can't even look at it? Like, that looks exactly like the Rosetta Stone. And is this a jar of jam? Amy. Huh. Why do I feel like chasing this jar? Why is someone's name written on here? Maybe it's so if I ever got lost. If, if it ever got lost, someone could return it to its owner. You know, like how school kids put their names on things? And I would write juicy all over everything. And then after I lose it, people would still not give it back to me. 
Yeah, but this is just an urn. And the name's written so big. Oh, it's an urn? Is Amy in the urn? When I wrote my name on my magic panties. Oh, good. I was worried we wouldn't get those mentioned for an entire game. It's a close one, Trissy. It says W-O-I-G-H-T in super big letters. The less said about this, the better. I will not. E I will pretend that I heard nothing about this, Trucy. We will not acknowledge it. We will move on with our lives. Um, note on the ground. Tell me about this thing. Look, it's one of the doctor's notebooks. Maybe there's something about the orb in there. Hmm. Oh, it's the song from the first trial. It's a photo of the treasure box. The one from Timple Timple's treasure room. These must be his research notes on the founder's orb. What's that on the right page? Looks like a poem or something. Let's see. Oh, it's the song that's performed during the Dance of Devotion. It's been sung during Kurainese's rites of offering since ancient times. No, I think I've heard of that. There's also a legend associated with the song. Some say the solution to the orb's riddle is contained therein. It's a song everyone in Kurain knows. Not much of a way to keep it secret. That's why it's a riddle. So it's hidden in plain sight. It's a thing. It's called hiding secrets in plain sight, Polly. Thank you, Trucy. Thank you. Us magicians know all about that. Huh. That's strange. What is? Dr. Buff's notes contain the second half of the song. Only the first half is song during the Dance of Devotion. Oh, okay. When the butterfly embraces the Matama, the favor of the orb is bestowed. We did that because you put the key in the other thing. Offer thy prayers as fervent as fire. Only then shall the Holy Mother return. Descending upon us in all her glory, the founder bestows greatest power, the greatest power known. I bet the greatest power known is like love or something. Most people haven't heard the second half. The second half? As in the part that begins, offer thy prayers. I'm impressed. That's some thorough research he was conducting. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Racking up court record stuff. What else have we got? Is this Godzilla? A coffee maker and a bunch of coffee cups. Oh, okay. That's just that whole section. He must have taken his coffee breaks here. Oh, there's a filter with old coffee grounds in here. Ugh. Guess I'd better clean this up. Just, I'm just gonna start moving things in the crime scene like you're supposed to do. Do, 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 do. What are you doing there, son? Ah! What am I doing? Cleaning this office? Is this just old habits? I'm just so used to being made to clean the office and not getting to do lawyer things. Don't tell me they have you on coffee duty back at your office. No, no, no. It's just, well, if I don't keep the place clean, no one will. And, you know, someone's got to make the coffee, so I make all of it. For everyone. All the time. Even when not asked. <clears throat> but they ask a lot. It's a golden statue. Looks pretty old, too. Hmm. I imagine it has great archaeological value. Maybe too great for a private researcher of Dr. Buff's caliber. I wonder how he got his hands on something like this. Hmm, hmm, hmm. It's a spiral staircase. Oh, we good to go up? And it's connected to a hallway up there. Why'd they have to place the second floor so high up? <laughs> Can the second floor be on the ground level? Wait, you're not afraid of heights, are you? Oh, uh, well. Oh, Paul is hilarious around high places. He gets all wobbly like a baby deer taking its first steps. And his face turns as green as a watermelon. It's not nice to make fun of people's phobias, you know, or making fun of people at all. Not nice. It's not nice, Juicy. Don't make fun of me. 
come to think of it. The visitor's entrance is on the second floor. What an odd layout for a house. Okay. So, let's look at this big cool thing. What a huge wall relief. Huh. It seems to depict a spirit channeling. Hey, this spirit medium looks like the Holy Mother of Kurain. Yeah, her face was left blank, but the rest is clearly detailed and well-crafted. Did you know some researchers claim that the Holy Mother had three eyes? And that her third eye was able to divine the truth, just like the gods above. It is said to be on her forehead. Like you said, you shouldn't believe everything you hear. No, no. I said don't believe everything you see on TV. If you heard it, then it's true. Okay, what else do we have? There's a piece of luggage? <clears throat> That's one big suitcase. It's locked. Is it the doctor's? No, someone left it here last night. So the doctor might have had a visitor? Oh, so the doctor might have had a visitor. But how can you tell? That sticker there, you only see it on airport luggage. Which means its owner is likely from overseas. Is there any way to figure out who it belongs to? None unless we can open it to see what's inside. Guess not. <laughs> That's because you're not me. In the sky, forensics expert extraordinaire! <laughs> yes! Try as you might, you won't find the word impossible in my forensics handbook. Hey, is she okay, son? It's like she became an entirely different person. Oh, that's just what happens when her forensic switch gets flipped, and I wish you hadn't. Thanks. Thanks, Dirk Dad. With this, identifying the suitcase's owner will be as easy as eating a pie. Which is usually easy. Sometimes it gets a little messy. But is is that fingerprint powder? That's right. And there's no better time than the present to use it. Here we go! Okay. You remember, you remember how to do this, right? I apply the powder to where I think some prints might be and blow any excess off. Exactly. Well, have at it. Huh. Now, where would I expect to find prints on a suitcase? I would say we look at the handle immediately. Anything? Nothing? I'm surprised. Come on. Blow off. Is there something on here? Oh, I think something's actually emerging. These are absolutely fingerprints. Hey, Emma! I got a pretty clean print here! Ugh. Okay, now let me know what you think it belonged to. Hmm. Who could it be? It would have to be someone who would have paid Dr. Buff a visit. What's on our list? We have... I'm just gonna go straight to Dats, because that's the only person that even makes sense out of this list. The latches and handles would have made a lot of sense, but I guess we had to go for the sticker. Hopefully this is enough to just confirm, okay, it is Dats' suitcase. Who could it be? Like, the only person who is not either here or part of the agency or dead. We have a match! Dads, come to think of it, he did stop by to see the doctor, didn't he? I kind of wish they'd had some other people potentially on there, so you could have been like, was it Blackwell? Was it, like, the guy from the previous case? To conclude the orb transfer agreement. So he's the one who forgot his suitcase here. Where do you suppose he is now? Haven't heard from him in a while. 
and he's not answering his phone. Wait, you don't think he left his phone inside his suitcase, do you? I wouldn't put it past that knucklehead. Actually, I think we may have run into him earlier. Really? A suspicious man had been reported in the area. But when one of my officers approached to question him, he took off like a shot. What? Didn't make him less mysterious, did it? Sorry about that. Kurainese people aren't all like him. I swear. Well, he's probably still in the village somewhere. Maybe he knows something about the orb. It seems the orb isn't here. That means Dats might be our only lead at this point. Detective Sky said he might still be here in the village. We should try to find him. We're definitely talking about the same Dats. Mr. Dats a rebel. All right, well, bye Emma. We're gonna go back to the village and look for Mr. Dats. Mr. A rebel himself. Day to you, citizens of Karain Village. My name is Paul Adishan, and I want your vote. Wow, that's really loud. Look, something's coming this way. Mayor Dewey, Paul Adishan, savior of Karain, has come to. Ah, it's you people! Huh? Apollo, what is that strange conveyance coming this way? Mayor Dewey! Right, left, right, left. It's one of those, what do you call them? Palanquins? Yes, very common in just outside of, of Los Angeles. Oh. So, you finally left Dr. Buff's house. What were you doing there? <laughs> what a bunch of shady looking characters. And you aren't? So I take it you knew the doctor? <laughs> what a foolish question. <laughs> I've memorized the names and faces of the entire electorate here in Crane. After all, I am the man who's destined to be king of this fine nation someday. Um, who are you? What do you mean king? This is a village, not a nation that you get to be king of. Ignorant fools, I am the Paul Adishan! I am a soon-to-be-imminent politician, a man whose name will go down in history. You should be ashamed that you've never heard of me before. Is he really that famous of a politician, Apollo? Not that I know of. I'm running for a seat on the local council right now. <laughs> I guess even jerk Q public has to start somewhere. For my election is a sure thing, I'm told. Running unopposed. After all, my grandfather was a famous politician with untold influence, and he gave me all of his money and his book of contacts. In short, I'm the chosen one, the golden boy, the powerhouse of politics. <laughs> and writer of his grandfather's coattails. <laughs> Are you blinded by my majesty? Go ahead, bask in the splendid glory that is me, the chosen one. Uh, sure. Okay, let's bask. Ah. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Ah. A pleasant day to you, good people of Korean. I am politician. It's time to re-elect the glory of Korean together, to reclaim the glory of Korean together. Make Korean great again. A convenience store in every corner, a karaoke bar in every home. A vote for politician is a vote for a happier, hopier crane village. Turn off that infernal racket, you fool! You have a stain on your grandfather's good name! Thank you, good sir. Your support is appreciated as always! 
I guess he's one of those people who only hears what they want to hear. In other words, he's a model politician. Now, where was I? All right, you were in the doctor's house. Just what in the world were you doing in there, hmm? Okay. Let's talk to him. Politician, do you know your name is... Politician? Is this what you ride around in when you're campaigning? Is this your campaign... Bus? That's right. It's perfect for the narrow roads and steep hills here in this village. It has a top speed of five miles per hour, but it suffers from serious reliability issues. Namely, these imbeciles tie out too quickly. <coughs> we'll try harder next time, sir! Poor guys. They're exhausted and covered in sweat. How old is he? Let's look. If we have that. He is 25! Too young to run for president, but old enough to hold office somewhere else. The Artisan family has been in politics for generations, even back in the old country. <laughs> you know, England. Really? My grandfather, A. Petition, was a prominent member of Congress. And he was born right here in Karain. There's no person here who hasn't heard of him. The last bow is his palanquin. You must have heard of the Atticians. I'm even reviving your old country campaigning style. Oh. Um, well, politics aren't really my thing. Trucy? Trucy, you talk to this guy. I don't want to talk to this guy. Trucy! I'm leaving! I don't recall ever reading about them at school. Fair <laughs> young people today. Young people really need to pay more attention. Politics. It's important. A vote rate is terrible, and you should all vote for me. All right. So, what business do you people have at Doctor Buff's house? He's gonna transfer ownership of the Founder's Orb to us. It's a sacred relic from the Kingdom of Corain. The Founder's Orb. So you tried to get your hands on it, did ya? Ha! Huh? Wait. What do you know about the orb? I know that it's mine, that's what? How do you figure that? <laughs> I'm regretting now not giving him a Kennedy voice. Maybe I should. Because I know it's not the Founder's Orb. Its real name is Crystal of Amy Fay. The Crystal of Amy Fay? That's right. It's been there, um, uh, passed down for generations in the Attition family. Until it was stolen, that is. But just when I had zeroed in on the culprit, they docked it away and then kicked the bucket. You're saying Dr. Buff stole your family heirloom? That's not what Dirk said. Strange. But I've been told the doctor himself said that. He had the founder's orb. It's a mirror all that foreigner's doing. He filled the doctor's head with nonsense. Nonsense like the crystal of Amy Faye being the founder's orb. Weird foreigner. Could he mean... Is this the foreigner you're talking about? Weird foreigner. Are you talking about Do Archie Buff? Take that! Who's that? Wait, I know everyone around here, so this must be a new eligible voter for me. He did turn a little bit Aussie. Getting, I'm not, not quite getting it, am I? Yes, wouldn't that be nice? Because I certainly wouldn't vote for you. Seems like this is, just isn't the person he's talking about. But I can't imagine the doctor had contact with that many foreigners way out here. Oh, geez, do I have to go through that whole thing again? The Founder's Orb. Amy Faye, so probably Maya Faye. Is she an option? She's not an option. Are we talking about dats? Take that. Oh, is the Chroma King being weird? Yes, it is. What's up, colors? I'm just gonna have to put it back. 
to a higher setting in general. Maybe it's because the lighting has been changing as the sun sets or something. Yes, that's him! I- I thought so! Now we really have to find that. Do you know- do you know where this man is now? I imagine he's at the detention center by now. I called the authorities after I found him hiding in my um, dog's dog house. What? That buffoon. Well, at least you know where he is now. Let's head over to the detention center and see what he knows about the Founder's Orb. So, you really are after my crystal. No, we're looking for the Founder's Orb, and we have an agreement to prove it. Well, just so you know, you're not going to lay a finger on it, it's mine! I intend to give it to my benefactor! Your benefactor? Who's your benefactor? My benefactor is ready to support my rise to the pinnacle of the political world! They have immense influence here, you see, and I intend to harness that influence. So you're just gonna give your family heirloom away to this person? That's right, it's purely a purely political decision. In exchange, your patron will get the people of Crane to vote for you? Hehehe, <laughs> even if politicians are skilled at leveraging all of their connections! Isn't it illegal to buy votes? Well, good luck with that, I guess. Eh, you just wait. Politician will reign supreme someday! Alright. Well, let's go to the detention center. Talk to... Dad. 